morning, y'all. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. Isn't this not the kind of day? This is why we live in Georgia. This is why we live in Georgia. And to our Facebook friends and to our ETC friends, thank you for joining us. I'm live and once again double dipping because I got the Facebook going on over here and I got the ETC going on over here and I'm going to be going, woo! If you have ETC, you will get to see some very special flashbacks today. You will get to see a throwback from the day that Matt Dibler, as my co-host many, many years ago, invited his brother Mark and his family to be with us and we talk about the writing of Resurrection Ground and Mark and his family do Resurrection Ground assisted by, by Matt and then we're going to switch it up and we're going to go to a story of a precious precious little boy who lost his life and you're going to get to see the Brady Singleton story with all the photos of Brady and you're going to get to hear once again Resurrection Ground as Matt and the Inspirations did it so for all you who keep telling me I want to hear Inspirations I I want to hear Resurrection Ground. I love the way Matt does it. You're going to get to hear it two ways today. You're going to get to hear it the way Mark wrote it, and you're going to get to hear it the way that Matt delivers it when he steps on stage with the inspirations. You're also going to get to meet somebody, throwback, way back. My friend, Congressman Tom Graves came to visit as he was running for office the first time. And the one thing that really, really impressed me about him was he talked about his childhood and his very, very humble beginnings in a single wide mobile home on a dirt road in Bartow County. And he said his parents instilled in him that he could do anything he set his mind to do. And I think that's what we should do to all our children. We should instill that you can do anything you want to do. And also, um, if we have time to do this, I'm going to share a recipe that Brett Miller, who is a wonderful, wonderful young man, he is the founder of Carding Crusaders. It is a Christian group that meets and prays at racetracks. Now think about that. <clears throat> NASCAR starts with the national anthem and a prayer. I love that. I love that. And I love that Brett does Carding Crusaders because it is about bringing Christ into everything we do. And to my sweet little buddy who continues to send me some of the most inspirational things, and it says, Happy Resurrection Day in Christian love, a, a faithful viewer. So thank you so very much for this. And um, I'll put my glasses on and read it all after a while. But... But it is, um, we are all facing the resurrection, the resurrection that really meant the world to the Christians. And, and we know that Resurrection Day makes a difference in everybody's life. So we're going to share a little bit of Resurrection Ground with you today. We're also going to share birthdays. And I have a very, very special, very special great niece who is sitting down in Orlando, Florida. Miss Faith Peach is turning 13. Now we all know at 13, that's the day that your mama says, Oh my goodness, now what do you do? Because they know everything at 13. Happy, happy birthday, Faith. Happy birthday to Kay Fowler, to Megan Locke, Kim Densmore, Linda Richards, Jerome Witzel, Diane Thomason, Jeff Wright, Kyle Bunch, Randy Reynolds, Trina Godfrey, Robin Welker, Janet Buchanan, Brittany Parks, and Jim Fatman Fields. And happy, happy birthday in heaven to a heavenly, heavenly woman, Dr. Rebecca Ray celebrating in heaven this year how we miss and love her. What an inspiration she was to so many women. She was so far ahead of her time. So happy, happy birthday in heaven, Dr. Rebecca Ray. I can't tell you how many times I've thought, oh my goodness, what I would give to see her one more time. Just a precious, precious lady. Now, I want to remind you of something that I do on the side. You know, I do this and this and this and this and this. And one of the things I do on the side is I sell real estate. And I was showing a house on Friday, and there was this five-foot snake on the porch. And I thought, oh, is this an omen? Is this a bad thing, good thing? It's a good thing. Because it was a black five-foot snake. If you have black five-feet snakes, then you don't have copperheads, and you don't have rats, and you don't have any kind of critters that bug you because you got a snake to take care of things. Well, the house I was showing has two black snakes on residence and they just keep everything cleaned out and everything good but if you are out looking at property if you are out with your kids hunting easter eggs please know that snakes are out early this year i talked to somebody who had actually already seen a copperhead so if you're if you're hiding eggs for children and they're going to be two huge easter egg hunts in ball ground this weekend First Baptist Church is having one in Calvin Farmer Park, and the Revived Church is having one also. And I think one starts at 11 and maybe one starts at 1, but they're in downtown Ballground. So come to Ballground and spend all day long. 
but when your kids are when you're hiding eggs just be aware that you can hide them and before the kids go to find them you really have to pay attention and I talked to somebody who had seen a tiny snake well the tiny snakes are being born now and the tiny copperheads are just as poisonous the day they're born as they are later in life so so please be cautious and be careful because the snakes are out early if you are looking to buy sell real estate please pick up the phone and call me I'm having so much fun listing stuff and showing stuff and, and meeting people and I just love it and I'm so glad I'm back doing this also last night my daughter she just hooked herself hook line and sinker she was giving away a pound cake and she had like 85 names in the drawing and she put them all in the drawing and she drew one and she said I, it was so much fun I think I'll give away two so that poor girl's got to make two pound cakes in the next few days but if you pay attention to Dawn's Facebook page she gives away, away inspirational books and then she thought well I'll just give away one of my famous pound cakes so she's giving away a couple of pound cakes pay attention to her Facebook page you know this is a time of year sometimes we get down and out and um, spring is coming everything is new and we should feel revitalized and then every once in a while you find yourself sinking into a depression I've talked to so many people lately who said winter is gone I thought that I would be okay I'm not coming out of this like I thought I should if you know somebody who's having a hard time, pick up the phone and call them and talk to them and share that there are better days ahead. And there really are better days ahead. You know, um, I had a, a bit of an issue last week because I watched a bunch of old videos. And these were from Angela from the time she was about 14 years old. And it kind of took me down. But it also made me laugh because I had hair down my waist, down my, down my back in a ponytail. Now, that, that was a long time ago. And... I was walking my dogs and, and just doing the everyday things we did and it was just that's the way videos used to be and bad cameras, bad lighting, nothing about it was good and now we have these iPhone 7's that do amazing things like doing Facebook Live. But but capture capture your life, capture the moments because you don't know when that person is going to be gone from you. And yeah, it took me down just a little bit. But it also encouraged me to, to live every moment, to love every moment, and to be all that we can be for that person we love. And um, I, I think about my child was stubborn. She was um, hard to get to at times. She dealt with depression and uh, battling cancer. And it was, it was strange because when, when soon-to-be Congressman Tom Graves was on the show, Angela was battling cancer, and I gave him one of her shirts. And it said, never, never give up she gave up on life and I want I want you to know that if you know somebody who is getting down if you know somebody who is suffering please reach out and touch them share something with them give them an inspirational book give them some of your time you know it doesn't have to be anything expensive give them a little bit of your time and see that you make a difference and as we approach Mother's Day I know this little necklace I don't know where Dawn got it but I, I don't wear it very often but it says mom and it's such an honor to be a mom if you are estranged from your mom if you're estranged from your parents if you have had a run-in with them and you're not talking to them make it right make it right I think about um, the years that I didn't get to spend with my mom and I get really angry with myself um, sometimes you do stupid things stupid 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 have y'all ever done anything stupid I have I'm, I'm the master of stupid so so make it right we're approaching Mother's Day and you want to be all that you can be for your mom because one day there'll just be that empty chair mama won't be sitting there so so make it make it right and do all you can for it all right I've got something I need to sell and I I was gonna put it on trading time but I can't even find the picture to do it it is sitting up at Jasper Mountain crafts and consignment I have a beautiful beautiful Duncan Fife sofa I bought it with something in mind it didn't work I ran out of space so if you are interested it is a beautiful beautiful sofa that uh, the last time I sold a Duncan Fife sofa I sold it for $395 this one is $150 so go by Jasper Mountain Crafts and Consignment it's going to be over in my booth today and it is it is a beautiful beautiful sofa it is one of my favorite pieces of furniture but I've run out of space I have nowhere to put it so please um, go by and look at that and make you know make yourself 
yourself happy and make me happy. Give me a little bit of space. So there you go. And again, to, to our dear friend, Dr. Rebecca Ray, miss her so very, very much. She was the true queen of the bells of ball ground and how we did love her. If you have events you want to talk about, if you have things that I need to share, please get in touch with me. You can do it either on Facebook or you can text me at 404-375-0590. Now, I think we ought to give away a Bridgman CD right now. And this is the Bridgman's, and I can't remember if this is the one that has the song that Freddie loves on it so much. He loves it so much it's on repeat in his car, and that's all that plays. So it's, it's a great song, and I'm not sure if it's on this one. But if you can tell me, call 866-939-2329. Who is my co-host tomorrow? I said it. You ought to remember it. You ought to know it because y'all know and love him. So we're going to take a commercial break and we come back. You're going to get to meet Mark Dibler, Matt's baby brother, who wrote the song Resurrection Ground. The song was written hours hours after he buried his three-year-old little girl. She was healthy, she was happy, everything was wonderful, and then something happened and she had a brain tumor. And during surgery, they, they um, had issues and she passed away. So he wrote the song at, just after following a tiny white casket to the cemetery. When you think about anything you're facing, I know so many people have lost their children. They've either lost their children to drugs, they've lost their children because their children's lives ended, or their children decided not to, not to be around the parents. If your child is still alive, there is hope. So don't forget that. And there's also hope if your child has gone to be with the Lord, I can guarantee you, according to this, we're going to see him again. And, and that is so very, very true. So, so please, um, today, I think today should be a day that you reflect on what your life is like with your children. If it's not right, pick up the phone and call them. If you're a kid and you're watching and you've been mad at your mom and daddy for 10 years and you decided, ah, they don't know what they're talking about, you need to pick up the phone and call your parents. So, all right, we're going to take a break. And when we come back, Mark and Matt Dibler, they, this is 10 years ago, so they both look a little bit different now. You're also going to see Mark's family is with them as they sing. His young son, Mark... Mark Jr. is uh, doing music and, and amazing, has a group of his own. He's just amazing. He's a young man on the guitar. So I want you to sit back and enjoy this. We'll return in just a little bit. You have never been so happy, dancing, swinging, laughing at me, smile on my face. It's happiness for days. Uh oh. You are everything I need. After we'll be Couldn't even dream a better Couldn't even dream a better way Whether it's memories of your first trip to the local Dairy Queen or your daily visit for a $5 lunch special, the Jasper Dairy Queen has been a part of the community for over 40 years. Locally owned and operated, Jasper DQ is the place where specialty items often become favorites. Burgers, shakes, chicken tenders with yummy dip and gravy, and don't forget the rings and fries. Celebration cakes are always fresh and fast and include the awesome blizzard cake. Stop by where folks are always meeting and eating. 515 at Highway 53. Just follow the crowd to the Dairy Queen. Fountain Roofing has been providing excellent service for 35 years. Let Lonnie assist you in choosing the roof perfect for your home and your budget. Commercial or residential, he can handle it all. Fountain Roofing continues to provide quality workmanship and will provide references upon request. At Fountain Roofing, we've got you covered. Call Lonnie at 706-692-6997. That's 706-692-6997. Since 1962, Gilmer Towing has been serving the North Georgia area and would like to say thanks to all of our customers. For over 48 years, Gilmer Towing has carried on a family tradition with an experienced and friendly staff that offers 24-hour damage-free towing, unlocks, and four-wheel drive recovery. So when you're stuck in a ditch, tires flat, or car won't start, give us a call. Local or long hauls, big or small, Gilmer Towing will get them all. Give us a call today at 706-636-4TOW. In today's changing world, some things should never change. Time-honored, compassionate services are what families have come to know with Roper Funeral Home. Our professional and courteous staff offers traditional services, cremations, as well as advanced funeral planning, which relieves the burden from those we love. 
Hello, I'm Kevin Roper. If you have any questions about the services we provide, we invite you to give us a call, stop by, or better yet, ask a family who has used our services. We've had Alpha Insurance since our first daughter. And when we had quadruplets, <laughs> we really needed Alpha. Now we need our own insurance with great rates, fast claim service, and a local agent we know. And we want to company our kids and grandkids can trust. <laughs> Best agents in the business. Call Ed Steph in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center in Canton specializes in low-level pain management. We provide a holistic approach to treatment, managing knee, back, and joint pain along with migraines, allergies, and medical weight loss through holistic and alternative approaches rather than pharmaceutical treatments. By offering multiple specialties under one roof, including chiropractic care and neuropathy injection treatment, we create the continuity of care that assures positive patient outcomes. So take the first step to a life free of pain. Give us a call or go online today to georgiamtc.com. Okay, now we're back and we are going to take you to a visit with Matt and Mark Dibler. This was done um, March the 31st, 2008, so it's been quite a while ago and it was a day that Mark and his family drove down from South Carolina. They um, either left late or got lost, I can't remember which, and Matt was getting a little bit nervous because he thought, oh my goodness, is my brother going to make it? They did make it and they were here in the studio with us for a while and he talked a little bit about your actual going to get to see some footage of Marie Beth Dibler too if we do this. I, I hope it gets it in there, but I think it does. You're going to get to see his child, his child who went to be with the Lord at three years old. You're going to get to see the young woman who truly has blessed millions of people with the song that her daddy wrote at her death. Resurrection Ground has touched so many hearts, so many people. I know it, it touched me. It brought me out of a level of total depression because I really did understand that that grave truly is Resurrection Ground. And we're going we're gonna to share this with you now. So we're going to take you to March the 31st, 2008, when Matt Dibler and Mark, his brother, visited with us here at ETC. He races in the afternoon and then late night too. Okay. So it is up 85 to Carnesville and then go straight up. It's That's an right. easy trip. Now you and I are gonna do something I've always wanted to do. We're gonna slide out of here and we're gonna let Mark and his family sing for us. So y'all hang around, here we go. Get out of the way. That you would have reached down and wiped our tears away, stepped in and saved the day. But once again, I say amen, and it's still raining. And as the thunder rolls, I barely hear you whisper through the rain. I Falls. I raise my hands and praise the God who gives and takes away. And I will praise you in this storm. And I will lift my hands. For you are who you are. No matter where I am. And every tear I cry. Again. My strength is almost gone How can I carry on If you're not here with me And as 
as the thunder rolls I barely hear you whisper through the rain I'm with you And as your mercy falls I raise my hands and praise the God who gives And takes away I lift mine eyes unto the hills Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord The maker of heaven and earth Good job, yeah. You that'd be great. Good job. Uh, no, you do the you do the verse. I'll just do the lead on the course. That'd be good. I think it'd be good if you did. Okay. And Matt, by the way, with well, something special that, gonna do that'll right. take place is uh, Mark actually wrote a third verse to it, okay. and uh, a lot of people haven't heard that. Good. Another thing, they they can go out and they travel and go to different churches and sing. So that that'd be an opportunity for some folks okay. to have them or sing in the community. Okay. Resurrection ground. Resurrection ground. Slide. Four. Get as close as y'all can get. We gather together to say our goodbyes to our sweet little girl. How our hearts ache inside Then we went to the place Where they lowered a body down Some called it a grave I called it resurrection ground Resurrection ground No more graves alive. We'll meet them in the air. No more parting there. With Jesus we'll be for all eternity. This is not the end. seems so long ago 
she ran around and played how sweet it would be if we were standing round in this whole play turns to resurrection ground resurrection ground Resurrection ground With speeds up to 150 meg, ETC and Ignite delivers more, more, more. More shopping, more music, more learning, more streaming. More speed to power smartphones, movies, and streaming video. More speed for more devices in your home. And more room in your budget with ETC's low pricing and bundled discounts. Get the fastest internet around with Ignite's new 150 meg. More speed, more savings. Call ETC today. Proverbs 426 states, ponder the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Too often investors are looking for instant gratification or some secret formula for success. The prudent, however, have pondered the path of their money, invested with a vision, and based upon a plan that drives the selection of their investments. We believe the prudent approach is to have a strategy and patiently work towards your goals. Give us the opportunity to compete for your business, because at Kaiko Wealth Management, the wisdom is in the planning. I'm Lauren Smith, the University of Georgia. Today we have John Davis, former Georgia Tech All-American, Frank Ross, captain of the Bulldogs 1980 National Championship team in a Subway showdown. Subway. How many Subways does that Singleton own? He just up with number 17. He started in my hometown of LJ. Yeah, but he graduated from University of Georgia. Oh. Hey guys, who's hungry? It looks like Subway and Singleton Food Services Incorporated, the winner again. Subway. Chevy runs deep in Canton at Bill Holt Chevrolet. Deeper selection, deeper discounts, and we're letting everybody know it. Not just Chevy buyers in Atlanta. Chevy buyers in Blairsville, Blue Ridge, Jasper, and LJ. If you're out there, we're right here with one huge selection at Truck HQ. Always get our lowest prices and friendliest service. Online, BillHoltGM.com. Because when you're talking trucks, you're talking Truck HQ. 
At Blue Ridge Dermatology, we believe your skin is vital to your health. That's why each of our providers gives personalized treatment recommendations. Let Dr. Mills do a thorough exam. He specializes in all skin conditions. Jamie Savageau is our nurse practitioner who specializes in skin disease. And our physician's assistant, Patrick Martin, is a certified injector for facial rejuvenation. Our certified laser technician, Donna Atosco, performs laser procedures with the latest gold standard equipment. Susan Newton is our medical esthetician. She specializes in chemical peels and skin tightening. Let one of the staff at Blue Ridge Dermatology help you look and feel your best. When Mike leaves town, it's a little scary. You never know who might be outside. But we feel safer inside knowing our home is being monitored by a local company. I can check our alarm from just about anywhere. So when we get home, I know it's safe. Get peace of mind for your family with a local company. Switch your current security monitoring to ETC Security and get six months monitoring free. Call ETC Security now or visit etcsecurity.com to learn more. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. This is a tribute to our friend Brady Singleton. I'm sorry, Brady. Today, uh, today is 6 uh, 8, 16. <laughs> oh, my, my goodness, just look at that. My goodness. You want it off? Want it off? Want it off? Uh -huh. My goodness. Don't get it off. There's Brady's brand new tractor. Right. Today is September 16, oh, 2007. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. <laughs> Three look. year old Brady getting his first tractor. Let me set you on now. Don't, don't put your foot on that right there for a minute until I show you what to do. All right. Now then, let me get him up there. Now then. Now then. Now then. Oh, oh, Just a place to spend the night, way 
just a place to spend the night. It's not a grave, it's just a place to spend the night. We come here often where our loved ones lay it seems like yesterday we join hands to pray how sweet it would be if we were standing round when this cold gray it turns to resurrection ground resurrection ground no more graves It's a big horse, isn't it? When Jesus will be for all eternity, this is not the end. It's resurrection ground, resurrection ground. No more graves allowed. We'll meet them in the end. It's not the end, it's resurrection ground. This is not the end, it's resurrection ground. You know, I thank the Lord for songs with meaning. That's why I love singing with the inspirations, because we have a message, not just music. Back in 1992, my brother and his wife had to go through the deepest valley they'd ever been through and ever will go through. They had a little three-year-old girl that one week she was playing in my backyard with my little three-year-old girl. And just the following week, we had no idea that she'd be rushed to the hospital. Just as normal as any child playing in my backyard one week, the next week rushed into the emergency room two days later going through a major brain surgery having a tumor through complications and different things that took place the lord saw fit to take little marie beth dibler home just a matter of weeks just a matter of days Did you know a couple days later we had to go out to the graveyard and see a little white 48 inch casket some of you have been there we had to watch that casket go down under the ground and i thought what could I say to my brother? I wanted to be an encouragement to him. But although I didn't have the words to say, I'm glad that God still gives a song in the darkest night. We want you to listen to this last verse again because this is the song in his darkest night that God gave my brother the day, the very day that he buried his brother. <laughs> oh, buddy. We come here often where our loved ones lay it seems like yesterday we joined hands to pray how sweet it would be if we were standing round when this cold grave it turns to resurrection ground resurrection ground no more graves alive We'll meet them in the air. No more party there. With Jesus we'll be for all eternity. This is not the end. It's resurrection ground. This is not the end. It's resurrection ground. More? What? Yes. Ah! Wow. wow. How about yes. those big dinosaurs that are in calm? Dinosaur? 
Uh, oh, wow. that was scary. Golly, that was scary. I'm okay. going to see another dinosaur. Yeah. All right, let's dinosaur. see it. Whoa, that was so scary. And King Kong. Sometimes life is hard to understand. A light just keeps on burning while another candle ends. And how a smile can change it all, I remember. And how there's hope after a fall, now and ever. I see him smiling there, and you see him everywhere. And I can almost hear him now singing Jesus loves me, this I know His eye is on the sparrow And Jesus loves me, Mommy And Daddy, you know that One day we'll laugh and play like Yesterday and now And Jesus loves me, this I know I'll see you on the morrow When darkness settles across the sky The bright and morning star will still shine bright And he holds him in his arms of love forever shelter Side from up above, storms or weather. We see him smiling there, you see him everywhere, and I can almost hear him now I'm singing. And Jesus loves me, this I know, his eye is on the sparrow, and Jesus loves me, mommy. Daddy, you know that One day we'll laugh and play like Yesterday and now And Jesus loves me, this I know I'll see you on the morrow watched that probably hundreds of times and um, love every second of, of the joy that that child brought to his family. And when you think about somebody drinking and driving and neglect left that child in a creek to die after a horrific accident, 
what would his life be like today? When I when I see him on a tractor, I think that he would be plowing Grady's fields. He would be bailing the hay. He would be being all that he could be. And the next message we're going to bring you is from our friend, Congressman Tom Graves, who talks about what his children um, hopefully will get from him and what he got from his parents because we as parents, you may not be able to give it all to them because let's face it, everything in the world is expensive today. But you can teach your children that they can be all that they can possibly be. Through Brady and Grady's death, both of them, there are scholarships set up because this was their vision to help another child. So if you're in the Copper Basin area, you have an opportunity as the school year ends, and a lot of counselors know about this and they, they tell the kids to apply for this. The Brady and Grady Singleton Scholarships and the Grady Anderson Scholarship, it is amazing to see that from this child's short life, he today is continuing to give back through his parents and his grandparents. So, so tell your children, tell them every single day. This morning on the way in, I talked to Dawn. This morning on the way in, I talked to Nick. And I think about, I don't have all the stuff I used to have. I don't have all the money I used to have. I can't buy them anything today. But I can give them the vision of being all that they can possibly be. And that is what our job is as parents. You know, we have the ability to do that, and you don't have to be rich to do that. And I want you to, to sit back now and, and get to know, Congressman Tom Graves has been in a couple of terms now, and, and I love him and I appreciate him. And this was before he was elected to Congress, and this is what he talks about, how his parents instilled in him that he could do anything he wanted to do. He didn't have to stay in that single wide trailer on a dirt road. He graduated from college. He went on to be a U.S. Congressman. And um, I think that we all, no matter what you're facing today, if your kid's graduating from high school and they want to go to college and you can't afford it, there are ways to do this. So, so get out there and really look into it and, and make their dreams come true. So we're going to take you now to Congressman Graves. And I have, I'm going to ask the question another time because we didn't have a winner. Call me at 866-939-2329 and you will win a copy of the Bridgman's CD. This is a fantastic CD. If you can tell me, um, we just showed um, the, the boys doing the song Resurrection Ground and the lead singer. If you can tell me who is my guest co-host going to be tomorrow, pick up the phone and call me at 866-939-2329 and you will win a copy of the CD by the Bridgmans and it is fantastic. So it's one of those CDs that you put in and you play it over and over and over because it's feel good music. Now we're going to go to our friend Congressman Tom Graves before he was a congressman and he has somebody visiting here with him that day. Actually, I got a call at 6.20 something that morning saying, hey, we're going to be in town. Could you work us in? And I said, absolutely. Come by the studio and we made it happen. Our dear friend Lucy Harris was here that day too. So um, we want to share this with you. Sit back and enjoy. You're back because we are at a time right now we may not re-elect people because we're all looking at the whole picture. The medical issue has been a big issue, mm -hmm. but cancer funding can't stop because 40-year-olds like my child um, could lose their life to cancer. Right. We've got to do the research, and it's important to do that. Now, what about your wife? I want to ask you just a minute about her. What is it like to be a candidate's wife? <laughs> Boy, she'd probably love to tell that story. Oh, I bet she <laughs> would. You know, Julie and I have been married 13 and a half years, and she's a, a very strong lady, very committed to the cause, and, and, and our mission as a family. We consider what we do. This is our ministry. Our mission field mm -hmm. is the political arena, and that's why we as a family are very united and joined in that union of, of fighting for this fight that we believe in here, and that's American or freedom and her liberty. So Julie is a, a, an incredible bride of mine and, and uh, she stands side by side with me. We, uh, we endure all this together. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, just thinking back on children, I do have the opportunity to speak to a lot of children. And the one thing I like to share with them, it's not about titles or mm -hmm. positions that are important. Ultimately, those are all temporary. Mm -hmm. And so you, you need to not be focused in your, on, on that and because that's not where you need to put your treasure. Instead, my, the only titles that are important to me are number one, being a believer, a Christian first and then being a husband, and then being a father, 
those are the most important titles to me, and I try to stress that to children. That's really where your, your, your goals need to be as far as uh, achieving a title or a position okay. in life. That's right. Well, I love you, and everybody knows where my vote's going. I'm sorry, you know, <laughs> duh. It, it is going to be um, it's going to be a challenge for you, but we mm -hmm. we hope to see success, and and I hope that you will encourage children everywhere you go, because they are America's tomorrow. You know, it's got to happen, and we've got to pump them up and help them. We're going to take a break right now. Thank you very much for doing Thank this. Thank you. Six twenty-seven yeah. this morning, I get a call, and there you go. Yeah. So, <laughs> if it's in God's plan, it always works. Yeah, that's the right, timing right. is yeah. perfect. That's the so, uh, yeah. and we have to. Say my buddy Lucy Harris is in the studio. She is traveling with Tom today. They will be out doing some meet and greets. I suggest you grab hold of him, shake his hand, and more than that, know that he truly does care about America. Yeah. Right now we're going to take a break, and when we come back we're going to feature some more children. We're going to do a quick uh, mini, mini piano recital, and then we're going to talk Vacation Bible School. So we'll be back in just a second. Okay, all right. A little bit of, of our congressman now, Tom Graves. If you are not happy with the, what Congress and the Senate are doing, if you're not happy with the political arena, you need to write your congressman, call your congressman, tell them keep doing what they're doing, but do it better. Do it wiser, do it better. Um, look at tomorrow's children because what is going into place today, and we have to say with our new Supreme Court Justice, this is for many, many years. This will set the tone for what your children's lives will be. We all, as parents, look back and we're like, did we do everything right? Absolutely not. Did we do all we could do for our children? Probably not. Were there times that you weren't thinking about what is best for your children? I'm sure. And, and you know, I, I, I say that to say this. There are some, I always say, make it right with your parents. Try to find your parents. I looked for my daddy. I knew who he was but I wasn't able to spend time with him and I looked for him for years and years and years. If you haven't seen your parents, if you don't know where your parents are, if you were adopted by amazing parents and you're happy and you don't ever want to see your biological parents, that's awesome. But if you're looking for them, I know what it was like to be a, a kid and in my teens it was very, very important to meet my real dad, which was, you know, a real dad's the man who was there for you every single day of your life. A real dad's the one who got up when you were throwing up in the middle of the bed the night. A real dad is the dad who steps in when that dad walks away. So if you think you've got problems in your life because of a relationship that failed, maybe with a bi biological parent, or maybe, you know, your parents today, you're just mad at them. Get over it. Get over it. And know that you can help them, and they can help you, and you can sit down and hash it out, talk it out, and do whatever. Because I think about the times that I didn't get to spend with my mom because of different things going on, and, and it's crazy. Because as I look back at that now, don't miss any moment. Don't miss any second. If you can do something with your mama, do it. I get aggravated because Dawn's on one end of town, I'm way on the other end of town, and we don't get to spend the time we want to together. And the other day when I rooked her into coming to the studio and bringing the puppies, she finally said, Mama, I'm so glad I did it. She's a little bit nervous about doing live television. I'd love to have her here one day a week, but she just gets a little bit antsy about it. But it tickles me to death because she'll get on Facebook and do two hours, whatever, you know. She can just talk, talk, talk to y'all on Facebook. But that little time we had together that day was special to both of us. And that's what it's about, you know. You may not get to see your mom every day. You may not get to talk to your mom every day. But if your mama's still here, if your daddy's still here, if you have an opportunity to spend time with them, do it. Because there will be a day. There will be a day that they won't be here or that you won't be here. And, and I, I was looking lately at all the young people in their 30s and 40s who are passing away. Their parents are dealing with the death of a child. And I have a cousin who has buried, I think there are four graves where she buried four children. And I thought about that. How in the world do you get by something like that? And her children died from anything from a horrific car accident to a heart attack. How do you be a mom and bury four kids? But if you know that you've done all you could while they're here, that's that's what moms do. And um, I got tickled this morning because I put this necklace on and I put it on backwards. And I said, oh no, that little stone's not showing. So I flipped it around and I said, you know, every single morning you wake up a mom. Now, do you do what's exactly right for your kids? Maybe not. Maybe not. But do the best that you can. And, and if you're a mom that lost 
their children because of your lifestyle or maybe defects took your children, you have the opportunity to work to get your children back. And when you see moms who just walk away from their kids, there was somebody on the news the other day, and the lady took her children to DFACS and left them. And I'm like, most of the time, DFACS comes out to your house and takes your kids, and you're saying, oh, no, don't take my kids. This lady took her kids to DFACS, and I thought, how do you do that? How do you do that? You know, but, but it happens. So if you've got yourself in a mess, and you're not a fit parent, you have an opportunity to straighten your life up and become all that you can be as a parent again and um, I, I think about it all the time because mama and I had some rocky roads Angela and I had some rocky roads mama was single and living a lifestyle that I wasn't crazy about and um, Angela thought I was you know was I controlling just a little bit uh, Angela was stubborn I was stubborn you know you don't it's not all right but if your kid is still alive today you have an opportunity to make it right and I, and I want to share that with you because as Easter week comes Easter week is that week. Everybody gets together for lunch on Sunday. Everybody has the Easter egg hunts. Easter week is like family time, so I thought it was important to share this with y'all. You might be estranged from your kids or your grandkids, and, and this is the week that you can make it right. You can make it right. Pick up the phone, call them, do whatever you can. I got tickled because I was posting pictures of my siblings last night. And I thought it's so funny because we're so far apart, but we're so close together. And um, thank thankfully, because of the internet and, and cell phones and all the things that we have now, you don't have to live near them to, to be near them. And uh, I, I like that about today's world because we can reach out and touch somebody. It doesn't matter where they are. My brother in Texas is kind of like, I can't wait to go to Texas, but I don't know if I'll ever get to go to Texas. But I really want to go see him and I want to visit him. Don't know if I'll ever get to, but maybe I will. And then to have my granddaughter in, Alaska um, and I want to encourage y'all to pick up your um, you can do it on I think it's Google Chrome watch KTUU or I think you can even do live streaming and you can watch Tori on, on Alaska News and I've enjoyed doing that because to have my daughter Angela's only child 5,000 miles from me it's hard it's hard but you know that she's happy she's living her dream she's going to win Emmy after Emmy and she's doing a great job and she has ditched that southern accent she doesn't sound any more southern than that cup right there does so it's amazing to me but all right we didn't give away the cds today but i'll try again tomorrow um if you think about it who's going to be my co-host tomorrow i've talked about it a couple of times today he is an awesome preacher he's one of your favorites and he'll be here tomorrow pick up the phone and call us at 866-939-2329 and you will win a bridgman cd we're going to leave you today where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet. And I'm going to leave you with this thought. Um, your child, no matter what they're doing, no matter what they're facing, I face this every day of my life when my child was on drugs. They are still your child. They should still be in your heart, and you should be there to care for them, love them, and help them. So no, no matter what they're into, pick up the phone today and call them and say, hey, let's make this right. So try that. If, uh, if you have problems with your children, it doesn't have to stop there. I guarantee you, you can fix it. Um, when I look at the time that Dawn and I lost, it is amazing to me to see it all as it came together and it is perfectly right now. And I'm so very, very thankful for that. Don't forget, we're going to have Easter egg hunts all over the community beginning in Jasper. They're going to have it at Lee Newton Park. We're going to have them down in Ball Ground at Calvin Farmer Park. Get your family, get your kids together and make Easter the week that you make everything right. I'll see you again tomorrow. And don't forget, my buddy is going to be here He's going to deliver an awesome message for y'all. I'm excited to bring Brother Matt back. So see you again tomorrow only on ETC.